Hey everyone. So today I am going to discuss with you solution to this question. So this question was asked in gate examination 2020. So here a vector field is given to you and a surface of tetrahedron which is bounded by the four planes. Okay, x y plane, y z plane, z x plane, and the plane x plus y plus z equal to one. You have to find the value of the surface integral. Value of the vector field over the surface S. So this is a problem on surface integral. So now, whenever you have a problem on surface integral, there are five ways to solve a problem on surface integral. Okay. So you can find, you can see those five ways by the links there in the description. Okay. So I have post the link in the description. So please have a look. There are five different ways one can solve a problem on surface integral. Now in this scenario, we are going to use Gauss divergence theorem. Why that is so? Because here your f is a vector field, not a scalar field. Secondly, your surface. What is the surface over here? If you see the surface carefully, it's a closed and the bounded surface. Okay, so if I call this as my x, y, and z axis over here. Okay, so if this is my x, y, z axis. This is one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Okay, so this is a plane. So your surf surface is nothing but this x z plane. Then this is your y z plane. This is your x y plane and the front side of the plane. So this is the surface you have, and as you can see, it is closed and bounded surface, and it's an orientable one because the no out normal is outward normal. So one can use Gauss divergence theorem. Okay, what is Gauss divergence theorem? For detailed explanation and the ex example related to it, you can see the link in the description. Otherwise, in simple terms, if you have some nice nice condition, then surface integral is same as the triple integration of which function you take divergence of f. That's what your Gauss divergence theorem says. Now in this case, what is divergence of f? It is nothing but deba by deba x of the first component. Now what is deba by deba x of the first component? Our first component, if you again go back, it is 2x minus 2y cos x. So 2x derivative is 2 plus 2y sin x plus second component with respect to y. That is nothing but 2 minus 2y sin x. And the last one is nothing but 4z, so its derivative is 4. So divergence is nothing but 8 because this gets cancelled. Okay, so if I erase this, now I think this is clear. So if I erase this part by Gauss divergence theorem, my surface integral is nothing but triple integration 8 times dt. So this is 8 times triple integration of 1. This is my dz dy dx. So this is nothing but the volume of the tetrahedron in the first quadrant. If you know a formula, if at all, if at all is there, then you can use that formula. Or in this case, we will try to find the limits. So what are the limits for z-axis? For z-axis, we draw the line parallel to z-axis. So it is entering from this x-y plane and coming out of the given plane. So the limits of z are zero to one minus x minus y. When you project this on x y plane, when you project this surface on x y plane, what you get is a triangle, right? One and one, zero. So what are the limits of y axis? You draw the line parallel to y axis. From where it is entering? From y equal to zero. And what is this line? X plus y equal to one. Correct. So the limits of y are zero to one minus x, and the limits of x are zero to one. Now I think it is easy to solve, right? This is eight times double integration limits of x, limits of y, one minus x minus y, dy dx. This is eight into integration of x. This is one minus x integration of one is y. So here also you have one minus x minus integration of y is y square by two. So when I apply the limit, this is what I get. Okay, so this is eight integration. 1 minus x square minus so this is 1 by 2 1 minus x square dx 
you can check the calculation if you find it's incorrect you can simply let me know i'll be more than happy to correct it okay mm -hmm. so this is four times one minus i think again x square by two so one plus one by three so this comes out to be four by three so this is one point three three something right so this is what the answer is for the given problem so i hope this is clear if you have any doubt then you can ask me in the comment section and make sure you go through the problems or you go through the links which i am going to mention in the comment section thank you